out here now. The best, prettiest city in the motherfucking world to me, dog. You know what I'm saying? Definitely the motherfucking United States of America. And now nah, this ain't even downtown, dog. This this the beach, dog. I love this shit. I don't never want to move or none of that shit. People be like, bro, why you don't come back home, bro? Cuz, nigga. I love it here, bro. This is my second home, bro. I'm all the way 804 to the day I go. But shit, 305954. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my second home, dog. Definitely my second home, my dog. Ouch. Look at this. Look at this architecture, man. Look at this, bro. Who don't want to be around the trunk? Who don't want to be around the trunk, bro? Trump, the best president we ever had, bro. Trump, 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 Trump. Always got water near you, bro. I'm a water man. I'm, you know what I'm saying? The tallest buildings, tallest exclusive buildings in the United States of America besides goddamn uh, Chicago and uh, New York. But they buildings don't look better than this, though. That's why I live right here, bro. I love this shit, bro. My kids love this shit. This all they know, bro. That's it. And, and, and I and I guess I pass as a as a as a dad, dog, because the, the goal is to make sure your kids grow up and live somewhere better than where you live that dog. Where you come from? Yeah, nigga, I had to end that phase, dog. No more of that Richmond shit. God is always good, bro. It's all in what you want for yourself. I used to be one of them dumbass niggas like, damn, dog got money and got the fuck up out. He moved from the city. He a fake nigga. Man, that's the dumbest fucking shit you can ever say, bro. Because you don't never know how much you love your life, dog, until you... You really fucking moved. I was a, I was an ignorant ass, uneducated ass, dumb nigga. I used to think that Richmond was the world, nigga. My block was the fucking the country. The Trump, nigga. Trump, Trump, Trump. And this ain't no joke, dog. This ain't no gimmick. And you know I got the bins too. Came up, boy. I used to ride the bus, nigga. Now I got a Benz, bro. New one at that, bro. I don't even care about cars no more. I don't care about none of that shit. Cause that that is not even a good asset. That shit degrade in value soon as you got down. Pull off the pull off the lot, dog. But yeah, bro. I'm just trying to show y'all niggas, man. It's a better way than what you're going through right now, man. I hope I'm that motivation to get you up out that motherfucking hellhole that you're living in, dog. You shouldn't wanna you you shouldn't wanna die in the motherfucking hood, my nigga. You ain't got no choice about where you start off at, but it's it's all on you if you got them ended out there. You see that, eh? Every car, dog, cause motherfuckers is grinding down this bitch, bro. Niggas is getting to the bread, bro. And that's what the fuck I want to be around. I don't want to be around no motherfucker. I stand out. No, nigga, I like to be low key, dog. I never been no nigga that was about no motherfucking uh standing out and, and begging for attention and shit, bro. I went down here because I ain't want to be seen, bro. I want the money, but I don't want to be seen like that, bro. I'd rather do other shit. That's my thing, bro. I come from a time where a nigga goddamn used to be on the block. Dead ass, bro. And, and niggas didn't come through with cameras. Look at that, boy. This the new motherfucking, the Bentley Tower. They about to start the Bentley Tower up right here, bro. Y'all see that shit? Nigga, follow your dreams, bro. Follow your dreams, bruh.
I'm just going to public. Going to get some of that. You know what I'm saying? Nigga ain't got to do nothing, bro. I love this shit, bro. Feel me? I ain't, I ain't the nigga that I, I hate being in the motherfucking hood now, bro. I would never thought I'd be able to say that shit. But hey, bro, I really don't like that shit no more. I done outgrew that shit. I'm a grown ass man, bro. I don't care about no clothes. I don't care about no shoes. I don't care about no car, no none of that shit. All I care about is my bills being paid and my kids is happy. That's it. Every day I wake up, I'm trying to get to the bread, no matter what. Cause that's what needs to be done, dog. It's all about staying out of jail, staying free, staying out of these people's way. And if you're going to bring attention to yourself, bring a, 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 a positive attention to yourself, man. You ain't got to be one of these idiots that think you got to fucking crash out for everybody to look at you, dog, even though they set it up for it to be like that. But in all actuality, man, educate yourself, man. Get out, get out your neighborhood and get to see the world, bro. Look at the Publix, bro. This, this Publix, bro. Good shit, bro. You ain't got to live in that bullshit. You know how it go. Look at the police, bro. They still gonna fuck with you. No matter what, bro. It don't matter. But hey, long as you doing good, and you got something to prove <laughs> to yourself. Stop worrying about impressing everybody else, bro. You can you can make it, bro. I promise you. That's what life's about, bro. Sometimes it's gonna take getting out your comfort zone to find out who you really are, bro. I had to do that shit. I used to be around ten niggas every day. I grew up on a block with fifty niggas out there, bitch hustling, dog. And I still used to always find that little spot on the block where I can sit down and be out the motherfucking way so I don't get caught up in another nigga shit. That's my thing right now in life, dog. I got too many kids to be getting caught up in another nigga shit. That's it, my dog. I love everybody, dog. I ain't never in my life gonna hate on another nigga just because of where he from. Ain't got shit to do with that shit, actually. Don't none of us got nothing to do with that shit, cause shit. You you can't determine where you was born at, dog. You know what I'm saying? This shit is real, dog. I'm out here eating good, dog. I love it out here, bro. I love my life, bro. And, and that's what they want you to not do, bro. They want you to fucking act like life is 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 worthless, cause that's how we treat this shit in the hood, bro. We treat this shit like, damn, you a pussy-ass nigga if you want to live. You got to switch that goddamn shit, bro. Told you I'm coming out with a series called The Day I Realized the Streets Was Backwards. I'm an old nigga now, dog. Like, even back then, I was still an old nigga at heart, dog. You feel me? I go up in this bitch, bro. I'm trying to get some. Look, look at this shit, boy. Go ahead, grab me some of this. Yeah, hey, nigga, I wake up every day. I don't even care about no blunt no more. First thing I grab is some coffee. I need some coffee, dog. Get the day started, bro. Old head shit. You ain't no true old head till you do shit like that, bro. God bless y'all. And this shit right here is whip. If you don't know nothing about no coffee, dog, oh my goodness, dog. Stay off that shit. That shit like dope. That shit. Hey, they ain't name it caffeine for nothing, cause nigga, your ass will be fiending for that shit. And if you don't get it, nigga, your head start hurting and everything. You start having withdrawals and shit. That shit crazy, dog. We're out here, bro. No problem. What that is, my brother? Oh, salmon burgers. Salmon burgers, nah. Thank you, bro. God bless you. Yeah. I don't know, dog. I might go. What are we eating tonight? Man, we might go snapper. You know what I'm saying? My favorite fish, dog. Snapper. The good life. The good meat shit. You feel me? I ain't even know nothing but black and white before I left here. And I thought all other Spanish people just Mexican. You feel me? Like, but now, shit, boy. Hey. 
I expanded my horizon, bro. This shit is so real and it's so beautiful, dog. And it make you feel so damn dumb, like you wasting so much time of your life trying to prove to niggas some shit that you supposed to be trying to prove to your mama that you good enough, that you that you are a better person than what these people think you are. That's what life is all about, bro. I don't give a fuck about proving no nigga wrong, dog. Because as soon as I go through whatever I go through, they going to use that against me and laugh at me and whatever. Don't nobody care about me, dog. I understand that part of the story now. That's what I be trying to get down. Give these people advice now, bro. I can't rap. I can't. I can't sell my soul and, and, and sell out another brother to the fucking system like they do it, like they did me, dog. And make people think that this shit is all good to just stand out here and hustle and shit. Cause dog, actually, in all actuality, bro, you got a couple of more goddamn days, weeks, or whatever to hustle, dog. As you can see, bro, they about to find a way to take money off of the table. Money, you can't even pay. You can't even pay for uh, shit with money in certain places no more. So that's letting you know, dog, this shit ready to be gone. And once they take the, the money away, they about to start up. That's why that's why the cash app dude got smoked like that. Because they had to get him out of the way. They know cash app blowing up. And cash app just robbed me a $200, no cap. I mean that shit, that shit, dog. But what I'm trying to explain with that is, like, Cash App shit, they got this new program coming out now. Well, not program, well, that's what they call it. They call it Fed Now, bruh. It's called Fed Now. Look this shit up, bruh. Like, they, they try to call a nigga dumb or whatever for this dumb shit, but look it up. Fed Now, bruh. The Fed Now program. Yes, sir. Hold on. About to get these motherfucking. <laughs> These shits is banging. I love these shits. I love this cake, boy. Yeah. Boy. Good money. Gotta grab the little baby girl some, huh? You ain't already know. Huh? We're going red velvet today. Huh? We're going birthday cake. Yeah. Out here. Hard working black man. Yeah. So Live amongst so a bunch of motherfuckers that don't even like me, and that's what makes it so beautiful, dog. Like, shit, nigga. I can't be that broke. I can't be that terrible, because shit, nigga, I'm your neighbor. I'm your neighbor. Whether you like me or not, nigga, that lets you know you got to do better. Because a nigga like me, next door to you, overlooking the ocean, nigga, I'm from Biden Avenue. Little do they know. This shit is real. And it's never going to change, bro. I love all my people. Y'all keep God first. I'm, I'm about to start my uh, my new show. So I want everybody to be be on deck with me, dog. Like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. One second. Give me a second. I'm about to pay for this shit. And then I talk to y'all once I get outside, dog. This shit. Y'all uh, like and subscribe my shit, bro. Cause I got plenty of knowledge to spread for y'all motherfucking niggas, especially these rapping niggas, bruh. Niggas wanna know what happened with me and what's my situation, my story. Shit, I'm one of the rare niggas that, that stood on what he believed in and, and, and didn't sell my soul for no goddamn little bit of ass bread, bruh. Niggas will call that a fucking stupid nigga, but to me, hey, bruh, I live stress-free, my dog. I'm actually where I want to be. And I'm not in debt with no motherfucking label or none of that shit. Everything I put out, everything I do, I own that shit. Like, that shit feel good. I ain't getting millions off that shit, but dog, just believe, dog. I ain't got to work. I work my motherfucking numbers. I work my numbers up. Shit, learn this promotion shit. Learn what the fucking labels learn, nigga. They ain't no fucking bright ass people. They get a bunch of idiots to go get another idiot to work for the real people. You feel me? This shit ain't nothing but slave catching, dog. Just pay attention. I'm going to show y'all how this shit go, bro. I'm going to show you how the game fucking use use another goddamn brother to, 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 to enslave another brother that ain't got it all. You, you. I'm talking about mentally-wise and money-wise. 
Cause they can't offer no nigga nothing that already know something and got something. You gotta be fucked up, broke, or, or in the streets for real, trying to get out. And your way to goddamn get out the streets is to take a bullshit ass deal and make it look like you up for real. Cause you know, that's just like a nigga with a bitch. You got to keep your bitch looking good, even if she ain't happy like that. But to the public, shit, nigga, you know what it is, bro. We do this shit. We 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 doing this shit. I got I got three little girls I'm raising up right now. I be straight spitting game every day, dog. Like even if they don't understand it, but shit, at the end of the day, that's it ain't for the understand right now, cause a lot of shit I ain't even understand. But hey, dog, it is what it is. Let me go on here. Hey, this for my little babies. Hmm? You got some snacks. About to go in the house watch the game. Huh? Everyday life shit. I'm about to let y'all see my babies and shit. We out here on, you know what I'm saying? Enjoying ourselves. Probably go to the beach a little bit later. Have some fun, dog. That's what life is all about, dog. I love y'all people. I'm going here pay for this shit and I call. I'll hit y'all back when I go out. You hear? Mm-hmm. Niggas riding the streets. Mm-hmm. Back again, back again, back again. Hey, hey. Porsche Tower, dog. My nigga Money Bo living there. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, y'all niggas ain't never been in the Porsche Tower, dog. My dog getting the motherfucking car. Showed me some real shit I ain't never seen in my life, dog. Oh, you do, you don't even get in, you you don't got to get out your car to get in the elevator. That bitch got down, take your, uh, you pull your car up or whatever, in the elevator, in the elevator, take you to your goddamn, uh, to your motherfucking condo and drop your car off in the living room. Yeah. The porch tower. To the left. Nicki Minaj used to live right there, too. Oh, Birdman live in the uh, Porch Tower, too. For oh, all y'all niggas that, that's wondering. Nicki Minaj lived all the way at the end, the tall building at the end. All this shit new. Tallest building, uh, one of the tallest buildings in uh, Florida, period. And this, like I said, this ain't downtown, bro. This, uh, just the beach, you can see. They got their porch tower. Now they building a Bentley tower. I think that bitch going, you'll be able to, uh, take your unit with you, your, uh, condo. You can, uh, bring it upstairs and move it around. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Life is beautiful. I'm gonna let y'all see uh, the beach and shit. You know what I'm saying? I just don't feel like walking way over that bitch. Well, it ain't nothing but on the other side of the street. It's on behind the building and shit. I'll show you from a balcony and shit. But God is good. Life is good, bruh. Out this bitch, bro. I got to learn a lot of shit, bro. I got to learn. I got to learn about myself more than anything. I got to learn about myself. Like, got to be somewhere where, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even get the, uh, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even, I ain't even know nobody down this bitch. I know a few niggas just cause, you know, I was signed with Khaled or whatever. But outside of that, you know what I'm saying? That shit ain't, ain't nothing. I had to build up real relationships down this bitch. Now I got niggas that I, I'm, I'm more, more closer to down here than I'm, than I'm is up, up Richmond, dog. And these niggas treat me like they, like they grew up with me and shit. And I done known them for like four, five years. Uh, I've been living down here six, but it took me like a year to venture out because I ain't do shit but sit in the house. And oh, oh, I take that back. I, I used to be in the house a lot. 
or I was I was doing you know doing the videos and shit. But I'm just talking about like I was in I was going for for a year for a few years like two three years, boy. I still couldn't get my head up out out there. Uh, hold on. Yeah, yeah, cause for like two, three years, bro, I couldn't get my head from 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 getting the fuck from out of Richmond, bro. I was addicted, and that's what a lot of niggas is, bro. You see the gold tops on the motherfucking buildings, dog. That's real gold up there, huh? You see that architecture? That's all I ever wanted, bro. I love, I love architecture, bro. I love. Tall ass buildings. Ever since I was a kid, bro, I just always wanted to live around big, tall ass buildings. I said, as soon as I get my shit right, one day I'm moving to Miami, dog. I did the shit. I can, I can pat myself on the back. I moved in this bitch and got my wife pregnant, dog. And, and that's why my daughter name, my first daughter name is Miami, dog. That's how much I love Miami, dog. Real shit. God don't make no mistakes. And it's all love with me, dog. I grew as a person. I grew as a man. I ain't argue with no nigga. I ain't got them got into it with no nigga in the longest time. Because I learned how to conduct myself as a man. I learned how to, like... You know what I'm saying? I'm not in it to impress nobody. I'm not in it to impress nobody no more but my family, my kids, my wife. You feel me? That's that's how I got better as a person, dog. Because as soon as you, you, you know what I'm saying? Drop that, 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 that bullshit. I'm talking about the your, your expectations from the world. Once you drop that shit out your life, dog, you'll find... Your life will be very, very better, more peaceful, dog. And that's what it's all about. You want to be peaceful. You want to you wanna have less worries. That's why people dying so young, because they stress the fuck out, dog. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want to be one of them, them niggas that's got down. You know what I'm saying? About to be 40 years old, in the hood, still going to jail every fucking year and shit. Oh, uh, that's some lame ass shit, bro. I got too much to lose, bro. And them old heads that that uh, old head that kept it real and stayed in the hood. That's one of them bum ass niggas that stand in front of the store all day begging for change. That's a real hood nigga who stayed. Once I got my mind wrapped around that dog, I ain't want that. I never wanted that. I just had to change my circumstances. My mom wanted the best for me, dog. But shit, every time I got a chance, boy, I run back to the fucking worst shit. So I really went against everything that she worked for. You know what I'm saying? My story real, dog. My story ain't no old-fashioned, no, no made-up shit for TV or, or, or rap or nothing, bro. Like... Nigga, my mom, my mom did her best to goddamn keep me straight. My daddy, shit, that's a whole nother story. But hey, at the end of the day, he getting right now, and that's all that matters, dog. He getting right now, dog. Everybody know me and my daddy relationship. You know what I'm saying? Financially, I didn't have one with him the whole my whole life. Saying like he he wasn't there for my sports events and shit, but he was there for my crack ones. And he and he's always been my biggest supporter when it comes to being a fan of my music, nigga. I don't give a damn. No matter how much we done got into arguments and shit about him owing me money or or, or, or stealing stealing flay from me and shit, stealing my bike, breaking in my car. You know what I'm saying? Stealing my fucking whole sound system. And acting like it was the nigga across the street or something. Nigga. No matter what we went through, dog, he was always my biggest fan, bro. My daddy always really loved me, dog, but I understand the addiction thing. 
is real, bro. You can't really see who nobody is when they're addicted to that shit. And he 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 loved fucking what he was doing. Now I guess he's starting to feel ashamed about that shit. And trying to change because shit, dog, like he he is one of the biggest players to reach out to me and my kids and that's why like you know what i'm saying i want to get him together and move him out here bro so he can stay with me that's how much i love my daddy yeah i see that's true beautiful blue water dog people living and loving in life that's what this shit all about dog Got the whole city behind me, literally. Ain't water everywhere. I'm on an island, dog. I'm on an island. Hey, little motherfucking uh, Collins Ocean Drive, whatever y'all want to call it. But life is good, bro. I want y'all to get the best out of life and. You know what I'm saying? Learn from my mistakes. Learn from everything that everybody around you trying to tell you. Your old heads, man. You got to listen to these people. Stop being in competition with the older guys, man. Because, shit, you got to learn from these people. And the, and the, and the older guys got to stop being in competition with the younger guys. Because we got to learn from y'all. You feel me? That's what it's all about, my brothers. Living and loving life. Being one with your family. Like these people, yeah. And I live in a Jewish community, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of Jews out here, bro. I didn't even know what a Jew was before I moved out here. I heard of it before because of the Holocaust. I done watched the Holocaust movies and shit like that. Other than that, I ain't never really met nobody that was just Jewish. And, you know what I'm saying? It's all the same, though, man. People is people. I don't care what it is, man. Love life, love God, man. Love everything about you, man. God makes no mistakes. I ain't trying to sound like no pastor or no preacher or nothing, but hey, dog. A lot of people think they got it bad, but they don't. Yeah, I love to see that. That's black excellence, man. Look at the black folks, man. My black neighbors. Eh? My black neighbors, dog. Living and loving life. Uh, and it's the new building that they just built across the street and shit. That bitch ain't even got no motherfucking no water in the pool yet. But this bitch, this bitch was uh, just built not too long ago, though. Let me show y'all. Look at that. That's the pool right there. Yeah. That bitch is empty. But, like I said, I fuck around and go to the beach tomorrow. Uh, I'm about to sit my ass back right now and watch the motherfucking game. Yeah. Watch the gizang. I love my life. I love y'all. Y'all stay out the way. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to my new channel, dog. Well, my channel, period, dog. Because, shit, this shit is all about elevating, teaching and learning and, and showing y'all that. Education is important, bro. I ain't talking about the, the one plus one and two plus twos and shit like that. I'm talking about educating yourself, period, man. That's what they don't want us to do, man. The mind is deadly, man. Like, and a nigga who can think, a nigga who can outthink a nigga can, is, is what they hate, what they don't like. So shit, bro, get your education up, bro, so you can be able to do whatever you want to do. For you, your people, your family, your kids, and others that you don't even know. You know what I'm saying? God bless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight from Biden Avenue, though. Huh? Straight from Biden. Baby.